Hey math besties, let's learn how to multiply using skip counting. Do you like to skip count by twos, fives, and tens? Me too! One time I skip counted by fives all the way to 1,000. How about skip counting by six, seven, and eight? If you're feeling a little bit shaky with that, no worries. I'm going to teach you a strategy to help you skip count and multiply. Are you ready to learn this multiplying strategy? Let's do it! Okay, besties, we have our first example, which is 3 times 6. And we're going to be using the skip counting strategy to figure this one out. All right, so the first factor tells us the number of times you're going to be skip counting. Number of times or number of lines. So I'm going to go ahead and draw three lines because that's the first factor. One, two, three. All right, and the second factor tells us what we're skip counting by. In this case, we're going to be skip counting by six. So I'm going to go ahead and write six on the first line. Okay, so if you already know how to skip count by six, go ahead and skip count by six until you get to the end, and that's going to be your total or your product. Now, if you still need help skip counting by six, I like to draw six circles on top. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so let me show you how I use the circles to help me. So I have six already, so six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Stop. So 3 times 6 is equal to 18. All right, besties, are you ready for example number 2? Let's go. Okay, so for example number 2, we have 4 times 7. So remember the first factor tells us how many lines we're going to draw because how many times we're going to skip count is how many lines. So four times four lines. One, two, three, four. All right, and the second factor tells us what we're going to be skip counting by. In this case, we're going to be skip counting by seven. So I'm going to write seven on my first line. Seven. Once again, if you feel confident skip counting by seven, amazing, go ahead and skip count all the way till you get to the end and that is your total, your answer. Or if you still feel like a little shaky skip counting by seven, it's okay, go ahead and draw seven circles on top and they'll help you out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so let's go ahead. So I have seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Stop! So 4 times 7 is equal to 28. Alright besties, so I modeled two examples on how to use the skip counting strategy. So now it's your turn to practice with me. So grab a paper, a pencil, or a whiteboard and let's go! It's bestie practice time! Feel free to pause the video and work ahead of me or work alongside me for more guided practice. Okay, so for number one we have six times five. So the first factor tells us how many times you're going to be skip counting. In this case, we're going to be skip counting six times. So I'm going to go ahead and draw six lines. One, two, three, four, five, six. Awesome. Now the second factor tells us what we're skip counting by. In this case, we're skip counting by five. So I'm going to go ahead and start skip counting by five. So I'm going to write five on the first line. Then what comes next? 10. Good job, besties. Then 15. Then 20. Awesome work. Then 25 and 30. Good job, besties. So 30 is our answer. 
also known as the product in multiplication. So 6 times 5 is equal to 30. All right, Bessie, so number 2, we have 9 times 2. So once again, the first factor tells us how many times we're going to be skip counting. In this case, we're going to skip count 9 times, so I'm going to draw 9 lines. So we have 7, 8, 9 lines. And the second factor tells us what we're skip counting by. In this case, we're skip counting by two. So two, four, then six, good job, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, and what comes last? 18, stop! Now 18 is the answer or the product to nine times two. Okay, great job, besties. So now we're going to go ahead and do number three. Seven times eight. Seven times, I'm going to draw seven lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Stop, because I'm only drawing seven lines, and we're skip counting by eight, which is the second factor. So I'm going to go ahead and draw eight on my first line there. And if we feel a little shaky, skip counting by eight, no worries. I'm going to teach you a little strategy. I'm going to draw eight circles on top to help me with the skip counting. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I know I have eight, and now I'm going to count the circles on top. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I'm going to write 16 on the line right there. And then I'm going to keep counting. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay, I'm going to keep going. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Then 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. And lastly, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. Okay, we're going to stop. So 7 times 8 is 56. Great job, besties. All right, let's go ahead and do number 4. 4 times is 4 lines. 4 times 9. All right, I'm going to go ahead and draw 4 lines because we're going to skip count 4 times. And what are we skip counting by? The second factor, which is 9. I'm going to go ahead and draw 9 circles on top once again just to help us skip counting by 9. If you already know how to skip count by 9, that's awesome. Go ahead and skip count till you get to the end and stop. That will give you the product. But if you still feel a little shaky, skip counting by 9. Go ahead and draw 9 circles on top to help you. So we have already 9, so I'm going to count on 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Good job. And then 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and one more time, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So 4 times 9 is equal to 36. Great job, besties. That's the end of our math lesson. Thank you so much, Math Bestie, for learning with me today. Make sure you keep on practicing to make math easy peasy.